Arsenal have just beaten Bournemouth 3-0 away from home. It was a really businessman-like performance and it was maybe a game that Arsenal could have struggled in in the past. But this is a very good Arsenal side under Mikel Arteta. Now, Arsenal scored a couple of goals that they just scored through the brilliance of their players. So we saw one goal where the ball was played long to Jesus. He was able to take the ball down brilliantly, turn a defender and then play Martinelli in. And Martinelli's shot was turned out and Odegaard turned it in. Now, that was a goal that was scored because Jesus is just a great player. And then there was also a goal that came from a corner where the ball came to Xhaka. Xhaka was able to play it down to the edge of the box. And of all people, William Saliba was able to hook it in as well. And both of those goals were scored just through the fact that Arsenal now have better talented players who can produce moments on the pitch. But Mikel Arteta also came with a tactical plan that he was able to use to help his team to generate dangerous situations. So let's take a little bit of a look at that. So let's start off by looking at Bournemouth in particular. So they lined up in a 5-3-2. They've gone with a back five. And the general idea here is that you can see the narrowness of this formation. So if we draw the lines on here, they've got a really narrow midfield three here, two forwards here. The general idea is that they're happy to seed possession in these sorts of areas. So they'll allow Arsenal to have the ball in these, these areas. And the general idea then is that the wing back will push up, the defense will pull across, your midfield come across, one of your strikers comes across and you generate a lot of congestion around the ball. And so the idea then is that all that's left is you can just play these hopeful crosses into the box. You've got three centre backs there and so it should be difficult to generate chances. Now this is how Bournemouth had lined up the week before against Manchester City. So Mikel Arteta had obviously seen this and he came with a bit of a tactical plan in order to cause problems for Bournemouth, particularly in those wide areas then. So trying to get these areas stretched by moving the ball side to side, getting these wing backs isolated against their relevant opposition and getting these 1v1s and hopefully getting the ball into these sorts of areas where you could get cutbacks into the box. So we know that Mikel Arteta is an advocate of positional play. Generally what that means is that he's gonna try and get his front five spread across this line here to generate as much uh, possible openings in space through these lines to attack. And if you can get the ball, as we said, in those wide areas, then you can cut it across and you are generating dangerous situations where there's a potential chance of one of these players getting onto the ball. The interesting thing that's happening this season is in the rest of the setup here. So now we've got Thomas Partey here, who is the pivot player. He is the player who's gonna be involved in a lot of the buildup. But usually what you would expect to see in a possession-based team is that back line trying to find as much space as possible because the more space you have, then the more difficult it is for the opposition to be able to press you and cause you problems. But what we're seeing this season from Arsenal is we're seeing them actually congregate in the middle of the field and inverting, as we say, their fullbacks. So bringing both of their fullbacks inside. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you might do that. The first one is that actually, if you want to retain possession of the ball, if you've got your players all close together, if they're technically good players, then you'll be able to retain possession well. The other idea is that it actually pins the opposition players in certain ways. Now let me explain what I mean by that. So we've already seen how Bournemouth have a very narrow midfield. So they've got their midfield three here. Normally with a wide back four, you would expect these midfielders to be a little bit wider and they would then be able to pressure these fullbacks when they receive the ball. By bringing your fullbacks inside then, what you do is you force the opposition to keep a really narrow midfield like this. And this generates a huge amount of space then in these areas that you can actually use to great effect. Now what was interesting about Arsenal in this game is that they usually use what we call a 2-3 structure. So you have your two centre backs here and then your full backs and your pivot player here. So you've got a 2-3 structure. And what was different about Bournemouth is that usually oppositions will play with one striker but because they're playing with two it just congests this area just a little bit more and so what we actually saw was in moments Benjamin White dropping out here and actually Arsenal forming something closer to a three two formations and actually what was happening in this situation is that White would be here Saliba would move inside and Gabriel would move outside here and so you're keeping the opposition centre midfielders pinned but you're now generating the possibility of either carrying the ball into these areas or also playing these passes into Arsenal players in wide areas that aren't going to be opposed that much. And so this is one way that Arteta is using his structure to create space that his team can then exploit in certain ways. And so in this situation then, if the ball comes out to Ben White, he can drive into space in this sort of situation. And 
Now, because these centre midfielders are pinned towards the middle, there's just a lot more space for, for Arsenal to play with here. Saka can get 1v1 against his wing back. He can either go down the line himself or pull inside, pulling the wing back with him. And this generates space then for White to get down the outside and then Saka to play the ball into him and he can play the ball across into these sorts of dangerous areas. And that is exactly what happened for the second goal. So let's just take a little bit of a look at that. So this is a really nice picture here, just showing the build up to the second goal. So Arsenal playing this way. Here's the back line here. So this is the two center backs and here's your two, three structure. But as you can see, Ben White has pulled out. So it's more like a three, two structure here. And as you can see, because the Bournemouth central midfielder really pinned across on this side, there's just a huge amount of space then for Ben White to come into. Here's Bakaya Sacco and he's 1v1 against his wing back here. So just a huge amount of space for them to attack. So if we progress the tape then, Ben White is able to progress the ball into this central space. He's able to pin the wing back in this more central position. Saka is now in a huge amount of space and White can play the pass into him. And when Saka receives the ball, you can see that he's pinning the back line here closer to the goal and again, generating a huge amount of space here. Ben White manages to keep on side here, gets into this sort of area and he's able to play the ball across and Jesus takes the touch and Odegaard finishes into the far corner. So Arsenal are playing really well at the moment. They're able to generate goals because they have such talented players in their squad, but they've also got a manager with a tactical plan. And in this game, he was able to use that tactical plan to great effect so that Arsenal were able to generate chances for themselves through the tactics as well as through the talent. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.